And this will be the final Williamswood Castle video with the traveling llamas. You can see the sun coming up. This is the main entrance. The parking area. It is nestled back in the woods, backing up to a nature preserve. It is truly something to behold. The amount of love and care. Williamswood was named for this lady who built this home's son who talked her into bar uh, purchasing this land. Even though she didn't think it was a great idea, it used to be just a little small cinder block building in the back where the banquet hall is. Um, and it was, he talked her into buying it because it was a Girl Scout camp that closed. And he said, one day you'll be glad you bought this. And so she bought it and then he passed away, I believe at age 31, which left, you know, very sad place in her heart and that of his sister. And this labor of love came out of it because they both liked historic preservation and so thus the name Williams Wood, named after Bill, who made this possible by talking his mom into buying a wooded piece of land. And it actually sits on the river, so instead of a moat, you have the whole river. I can honestly say, so far in my life, this is probably my favorite place I've ever stayed or been. If you like any kind of medieval renaissance history just preservation of objects and things harry potter game of thrones there really is no reason to not come visit this place at least once river is right here this patio which we've already locked up and you can only access it from the main bedroom you look down and it's straight into the water we were watching fishermen this morning so we'll do a really quick tour of the inside of the house. Did a small one last night. Rawr. This is the main foyer. I mean, I could, this video could be hour long and I wouldn't show you everything, but we'll just hit the highlights. Bar door entry. Kitchen, bath, the Black Dog Pub, which is a legit little pub, library, laundry, Scottish room, sleigh bed, Full kilt. Here's our llama tour guide. Take us through the torture chamber and into the turret. Now, what was your first impression when you saw this castle last night in the dark from the voice of a six year old? How did you feel? Mm -hmm. I believe the word you used was creepy. But today, how do you like it? Good. Do you think kids should come here? Can you show that to us? Yeah. This is out the front, the main gate. There's a secret passageway to a little kid room. All right, take us to the secret passage, if you will. Go. You got to lead the way. <coughs> go, llama, go. So, if you saw the book, you can't get any because there's, like, wired around it. But it's actually me. Can you do it or you need help? Anyhow. This reveals the secret staircase. Go, Llama. Up the lighted passage. If 
that no one would know was here. Into a kid's a girl's bedroom. You can see down through the turret. This is the little girl's bedroom. It has a lot of fingers. Overlooking the grounds. All right, let's leave the secret room a secret. Chess. All right, let's shut the secret passage back. Once again, just a bookshelf. All right, let's take everybody to the main library and the owner suite. I already went through the bathrooms. There is a night holding toilet paper in that bathroom. You are correct. Here's my favorite creepy picture. My creepy picture too. These are the grandchildren of the estate who play bagpipes. Mm -hmm. This is the original structure, which is actually the was the old Girl Scout camp, and now it's like a little banquet hall event type uh, room with ping pong. Llamas love ping pong. We can't because we have to get to the llama races. And this is just simply stunning. This is the room that overlooks the river. I'd love to take you guys out there, but I think we already locked it all up. And I did do a video just of the patio this morning, so you can see that. But this and this, this is literally on top of that river. You can see it. And then there's a canopy bed library, little sitting area, stained glass. If you have a kid that cannot reach the top, like climb up it like this, then there's stairs. Then there are stairs. To the little sitting area with a moving <laughs> ladder. And then this is the main bathroom. <coughs> Overlooking the river. Let's go upstairs and film the library. Yep. Do you want to go first? Yep. And then we're done. Mm -hmm. Oh, we'll point out this. She painted the Sistine Chapel on the ceiling with their family members' faces. Which is pretty cool. And they, have, and they added Barbie. And they added Barbie to the Last Supper. I think they said they put her in Judas's spot. Judas's spot. There's some doors that are blocked off where you can't go. You can't go out here, but I would assume this is an incredible view of the river and the property from the main turret out front. I think over the years, they just probably figure it's safer for the guests if they don't have access to certain things. Again, the river, the patio, this patio, and all the library and works. So, if you think this, this is a very narrow spot, so I think you're going to have to go one at a time. If you have more family members coming with you that want to come up here. So what do you think? Would we come back again? We would. What's your favorite part? Um, the games. The games and um, that bed that has stairs because I'm a little llama. 
<laughs> I think for me as a grown up, I like that I felt fairly safe with my child being here. Um, there were a lot of antiques which made me nervous and she's not the type to get into or bother or anything. But even so, it, it was a lot more livable than I thought it would be. I really thought it was gonna be like museum-ish and you're gonna be terrified. But the owner of this place lived here for 20 years with her family. I think my favorite thing is how much love and creativity and salvage was put into this. Um, I personally know what it's like to lose a child that's, you know, unexpected and young and the amount of determination, dedication, legacy that she put into this to probably overcome her grief and channel it into what her son would have ultimately wanted this place to be is just, it's just incredible. The antiques that they saved, they sourced locally almost everything used here. I think she may have even said they did. So even the, the big furniture pieces from Czechoslovakia, they were here at an antique <coughs> store or at least brought here in a crate from a family that moved from Czechoslovakia but they ended up in Knoxville and that's where she acquired them. So if you have a kid, it's probably not best to let them play with these swords. Yeah, there are a lot of swords. So you that's very good advice to probably not use. So do you give this two llama thumbs up? We like Williamswood Castle and we will be back. I put it three with my toe. Three oh three. Well, even a llama toe, that is an excellent score. All right, follow the traveling llamas. We're headed to the llama races next.